Hello everyone, uh, Rashid here. Sorry I couldn't record a video in the last um, few days. I was not feeling well. But anyway, I'm feeling a little better now. Let's get started. So from today, um, I will start um, videos on clocks. I don't know how many videos I'll do. Uh, probably approximately 10 videos. That's what I think. But typically I adjust things as I go. But today's video is going to give you um, um an overview of actually i'm, I'm doing a, a zoom out uh, where we started what i covered and where i am right now and why i'm starting with clocks what inside clocks i'm gonna cover so a little bit overview uh video this is probably gonna be a, a shorter video but i thought in support it's important sometimes people join my channel or they come in the middle um, of different videos and they probably be wondering what I'm doing um, all my videos all the course that I'm creating through these videos is is in a very ordered way um, so I typically refer to the previous stuff that I covered so it's important that you follow my videos based on the video numbers on top within a topic anyway let's get started so I started with physical design okay you will see in every video a PD topic number one topic number two topic number three okay so first um initially i gave i don't know how many videos for each of these topics i did but i gave you an overview of physical design very quickly what are the stages what are the steps you know implementation verification then i jumped into synthesis overview in this during synthesis i excluded dft i haven't touched on dft right now i'm gonna add dft a bit later on i i gave an uh, even with the tickle commands I gave okay well, just to give an idea of what kind of commands or what are different stages within the synthesis flow um, that you have and I gave an example of synopsis design compiler and after that <clears throat> during that in, in, in that flow I covered synthesis constraints and I mentioned synthesis flow a tool is going to optimize your netlist um, it's going to read RTL, optimize it, and it does those optimization uh, in, with, with those constraints in mind. And those constraints you as a designer provide. You provide timing constraints, you provide power and floor plan. And plan is that I'll go through each one of those. Power in the form of UPF, floor plan in the form of article file or floor plan file. But the timing is a is i don't know maybe i'm biased on, on the timing but i feel that all the designs i have worked on within intel um the thing that we most struggle with was timing it doesn't matter whether frequencies are higher or smaller so i would say 80 percent of the time i don't think that's an exaggeration it really goes into timing convergence okay um and yes, I'm not saying other areas are not important. Without layout converge, without shard of McLean and all the DFCs cover, we cannot manufacture the chip. Um, but we spend a lot of time on timing convergence. So I start with timing convergence, and then I wanted to give you an idea of first. Sorry, I start with the timing constraints, not the timing convergence. Um, but first of all, I gave you a little bit idea of the STA tool. And then how, what is the timing arc? What is the timing path? How paths are constrained, right? Uh, that is always the first thing you, you encounter. Before you analyze timing, your your whole database, your necklace need to be constrained so that tool can ca calculate timing paths. And then I also mentioned how paths are, how STA tool calculates timing path, right? Um, how does it analysis for transition time, arrival times, required time, and all that. And um, three, four type of timing paths I gave, flop to flop, input, output, and later on I added a feed through one too. And I analyzed uh, those paths and, and explained you how it's important to constrain them and how you can constrain them. What, are the, what were the things missing in those timing paths? And as part of constraining, I look into clock definitions. You had to create virtual clocks, physical clocks, then IO constraints, input delays, output delays. As part of that, I also said, okay, we need to set loads 
um, mean capacitance on the output ports uh, transition time we need to put on the input pins um, so and then I showed you also how to read timing report for all these different type of paths or different path groups even look into path groups too okay so that is the part I covered so far and I like to expand expand clocks I think a very good understanding of clocks is required for a better understanding of the timing it's all in a synchronous design it's all based on on clocks so I'm thinking now it's better we go deeper into clocks we again um, look at the overall die and see okay how where the clocks come in and what different stages they they go through physically um, and then starting from the oscillator clock coming into the chip uh, then going through um, PLLs and dividers and then clock tree synthesis global clock distribution sorry and then clock tree synthesis all the way to <clears throat> to the end flops so plan is that I'm going to explain you give you overview and important concepts on all of that and as part of that uh, we will look into master clocks divided clocks divide by two divide by four divide by three and where you need to define those clocks definition points are the where we stamp those clocks those are important things then uh, how is the relationship with, between different clocks how clocks are aligned and how the timing set up a whole time are between clocks of different frequency but coming from the same PLL as well as coming from a DF different PLL and that's where I will start um, introducing the concepts of what I didn't mention a synchronizer when it's multi different clocks and as well as within same clocks like some of the timing exceptions set false paths set clock groups set multi-cycle those are the things I'm gonna cover there and I will also touch as part of our network uh, not only the global clock distribution what kind of different techniques what methods we use um, but also the clock tree synthesis which I know is a as part of synthesis then I put floor plan then placement and then comes CTS but I think this is a better spot for uh, for clock tree synthesis so we will talk a little bit about give you an overview again my goal is to give you a theoretical background of all these things so that when I start into labs or practical things with open source tools then you have all the required knowledge behind okay hopefully all that makes sense and next time I will start with with this distribution topic and then we'll pick within that different topics all right sounds good thank you so much for watching bye